0.025 times 8. Okay, that's what happens when I have Isaac take attendance. Here's what I got for an answer. I have one thousand, yeah, two hundred twenty-one dollars and forty cents. Okay, thumbs up if you got that answer. I want to see it. Good, good. Okay. Yep. 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 Okay. Everybody get that answer? Okay. Can you do this tomorrow then? Right? Should be an easy problem, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's all it is. Okay. All right. Let's turn the page. We got some story problems. Okay, turn the page. Number six. Okay, farmer wishes to make a rectangular fence with three adjacent pins. Okay, he's used the barn. Hi guys. I'll get you my my answers in a bit. Okay. So, I'm going to put x, x, x here. Because the width of the barn we don't know, right? And what we've got is 140 meters of fencing. So, what's left over here, what's left over has to be 140 minus 3x, right? Because you're going to use this piece, this piece, and this piece. And what's left over has to go here, which is the 140 minus 3x. Now, it's an area problem. Okay, you with me? Three, three, we need, oh wait, I, we need three fences. <gasps> oh my goodness gracious, I got to add another fence. Wyatt, I was watching you thinking, yeah, thanks Wyatt, you gave me a clue. 4x, right? We need three fences. Thanks Wyatt. So it's really 140 minus 4x's because I need to put another piece here. Area. What do I know about area? Length times width. So it's 140 minus 4x times x. But a better answer would be a 140x minus a 4x squared. Okay? Now if we're going to maximize the area, there's two ways. We could graph it. We could graph it, and that works, or we could just use the negative b over 2a. For me, negative b over 2a is, it's much faster, it really is, okay? And then my negative b is 100, negative 140 over 2 times my negative 4, which is a positive 140 over 8. I don't know what that is. 140 divided by 8. 17.5. Well, negative, negative, right? Great question. I do make mistakes. You need to catch me. Right, Wyatt? I do make mistakes. So now, what I'm going to do is go back and make my fence. So let's make this 17.5, 17.5, right? 17.5, 17.5. The length is going to be 140 minus 4 times my 17.5, because that's what x is, right? So if x is 17.5, 17.5, 17.5, 17.5, the length is 140 minus 4 times 17.5, so 140 minus 4 times 17.5, I get 70. So my dimensions, these are my dimensions, my dimensions are 17.5 by 40. Those are my dimensions. 70. Good golly. So, what is so I will show you again. It's 17.5 by 70. Those are my dimensions. So I can go out and build my fence, right? Okay, now. Um, domain, because you're probably going to be asked about domain, probably. Do you remember how to do the domain? Greater than zero and less 
less than 140 divided by 4. How come 4? There's four pieces, and if you put all of your fencing here, 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 and here, you wouldn't have any fencing put here, right? So what's 140 divided by 4? About 35. So my domain is 0 is less than x, which is less than 35, okay? And all that tells us is all the possible ways we could build this fence with the amount of fencing we have. I'll say it again. It just gives us all the possible ways to make the fence. Now, some are really bad. If you have it almost zero, that'd be a bad way. If it's almost 35 per side, that's a bad fence. But these are all the possible fences you could build. The best one is to make it 17.5, right? That's the best. These two are probably pretty bad extremes, okay? But though you could build it, but it wouldn't be a very good fence, okay? All right, you guys ready for the last one, number seven? Oh, the area. We haven't done the area yet. Yes, go ahead. Haven't done the area. What's the area? 17.5 times 70. Meters squared. Okay. All right, guys. One more time. We're going to talk about things. We're going to listen, right? Right, Elijah? Right? The other way? And you guys know I got the area. Area is really easy. It's just length times width of my answer, right? That's a scribble mark there. Oh, meter squared. Me meters. Meters squared. It's all good. Yeah, because how do you find the area this time? If I build my fence, Elijah, if I build my fence, what's the area? Well, it's just this times this, isn't it? Right? Isn't the area just this times this, right? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, he's going to, yeah, I got to text him. You guys are going to work out with us. Okay, number seven. Almost done, right? Okay, no more blah, 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 almost done. Number seven. So we did this in our warm-up. So let's take a piece of paper, and we're going to fold it, right? We're going to fold it. We're going to fold it. So when we put it all together, it looks like a square box, okay? We're going to take a piece of paper, we're going to fold it up, and make it into a square box, okay? Now, these are all equal widths, otherwise it wouldn't be a square, right? So that's why we have x, 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 and x. So if you put so much of your perimeter here, 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 and here, you would also use up some of your perimeter here, 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 and here, okay? So then some of your length would go here, some of your length would go here, and then the rest of your per perimeter would have to go on the sides. Well, we have 500 centimeters. So we're going to go, okay, I can do that. I can go, let's see, 500 minus my 8x is what's left over. But i got to put half of it here and half of it here, right? Got what's left over goes here and here. So divide this by 2, which gives me a 250 minus 4x. Okay, so that's got to go on my sides. So I'm going to put my 250 minus my 4x here. And of course, 250 minus 4x goes here. Now, when I fold it all together and I put the dimensions, this is going to be x, this will be x, and then the length is my 250 minus 4x, okay? Well, if I want to maximize the volume, I've got to go length times width times height, right? So I'm just going to go x squared times a 250 minus a 4x, right? And I can graph that just like that. You could distribute. It didn't. It wouldn't hurt anything, but I'm just going to put it in exactly the way it is because the calculator does not care which form you put it in. All right, so if I go to y equals clear x squared parentheses 250 minus 4x, okay, and I'm going to graph it. I already know my window's not going to be big enough because it's a pretty big box, but let's just graph it anyway. Yeah, not even close to big enough, right? So let's adjust our window. Let's go to our window. Okay. Well, first of all, I think it's going to be maybe bigger than 10 because I didn't see it come down. In fact, what's 8 divided by 500? It's 
500 divided by 8, 62. Okay, so let me make this about 100. Max, it's big. It's big. I'll try 10,000. And if it's too big, who cares? If it's not big enough, we'll make it bigger. Okay, graph it. Oh, 10,000 wasn't even big enough, was it? Oh, It's a big <laughs> box. Okay, 100,000. Why not? Oh, it's a big box, but a hundred. So maybe two hundred thousand. A million would certainly work. Okay. So let's try two hundred thousand. Okay. 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 Two hundred thousand worked. It's a big box, right? Okay. Calculate maximum, right? Left bound. Enter. Right bound. Enter, solve, and I'm going to get an answer. Okay, 41.666, or x is about 41 and two thirds, and that's in terms of centimeters, right? The volume, because that's the y, the volume is, what is that? 144,676 centimeters cubed, all right? So, We've got A. Here's our equation. That's A, right? A says find a function. We've got that. B, the dimensions. Now we've got the width. On B, we have the width. It's going to be 41 and 2 thirds, but we don't have the length. How do I get the length? Let's take this, plug it in over here, right? To get the length, let's plug the x into here, right? So I'm going to go, I'm going to take my 250 minus 4 times my 41.6666. So I got about 83 and 1 third. The length is 83 and 1 third centimeters. So there's my dimensions, right? C, what's the volume? Well, the calculator gave me the volume. The volume is there, right? That's my volume. So my volume is 144,676 centimeters cubed. Okay. Boys, stop talking. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. What's the domain? So the domain is this. We know for sure on the domain, we can start with this, okay? Now, we, before I finish the domain, we, let's look at the picture, okay? Domain has to do with x, okay? I could make this almost zero, right? These pieces could be almost zero, which would make these pieces really long, okay? That's my zero. The, if I take all of my wire and put it here and here, I've got 500, and I divide it by the eight pieces, and that's the biggest these could be. See, I'm getting the domain. How many x's do I have? We've got eight of them, so it's 500 divided by eight. I get about 62.5. That is the biggest. That's the biggest that my, that's all you do. Okay, so.